Hey guys, Chicken Broth here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to install the mod Tide Fusion. Quick disclaimer before we start getting over on how to install it, you're going to need to have BoneLib installed, the latest version of Lemon Loader, the BoneLab Patch Free Beta, and any type of file explorer. But just please don't use Mobile VR Station because I've tried it and it does not work. So please just use CX File Explorer or Adobe File Explorer or any other third party file explorer. Just do not use Mobile VR Station. Now that we've got the disclaimers out the way, now I'm gonna do a quick little explanation on what the mod is. Tide Fusion is a multiplayer mod created for the game Bone Lab that uses peer-to-peer -peer networking called Riptide. And the reason why Tide Fusion exists is to allow people with a quest to allow to play multiplayer on Bone Lab, no PC, no nothing. Some of you actually may be typing down in the comments saying Fu f there's, an also there's another mod called Fusion, which is a multiplayer mod, and it has a quest version. But to answer that, uh, it actually is not fully standalone as Tide Fusion, because in the regular Fusion, you're gonna need you still need a form of computer in order to run Steam to for networking purposes. It does not need good specs. It just needs to run Steam to for for networking purposes only. And the reason why Tide Fusion exists is because you may you actually may expect that quite a lot of people don't have any type of computer at all. So like no computer, no nothing. They just have their regular headset. So the re so de so a group of devs created this mod to allow quest players to play multiplayer like with no PC needed, no PC at all. So that's why I'm gonna be showing a tutorial in today's video on how to install this mod. Let's get to it. Okay, so first thing you're gonna want to go to your browser. You want to go to the to Ball Lab Funder Store and go to, and go to the search bar and search Tide Fusion. Click on Tide Fusion, scroll down and click manual download. Once you've downloaded the mod, you can now you can now go to your CX file explorer. Now that you see your mod, click hold. Click and hold of the mod, pr press more, click extract, and then extract here. Now you should see two folders, one named plugins and one named mods. Please click on both of the folders, so select both of them, click more, and compress. Now once you've compressed these, you can now press more, click extract, click extract two, main storage, adroid, data, Click Bone Lab, Files, and press Extract here. Do not click on mods or plugins, just press Extract here, and the mods and the files will move to their places automatically. So I'm not going to do this because I already have the mod installed. Now once you've successfully installed the mod, you can now start your game. Now, if you have successfully installed the mod, you should be able to turn around and see the bitmart and these two little screens. Now that you have learned on how to install the mod, now let's move over on how to join and create a server. So in order to join a server, your friend has to go to their bone menu, click on Bone Lab Fusion, click on matchmaking, click server info, and then create server. Also, before they do any of this, make sure you and your friend are on the same network layer. And in order to literally play with anyone, you all have to be on the la target layer Riptide. Every time you change the network layer, you're going to have to restart your game. After you change your layer to Riptide, you no longer have to touch this section at all. Because all the other network layers do not work with Quest. Now once your friend has made a server, you can now click Manual Joining, 
go to the server code keyboard and enter your friend's code into here. Also, I actually want to really point this out. The server code in every single server code is actually a encoded IP address. So I really recommend you guys share only sharing these codes with people you actually trust. If you have a VPN, you're actually pretty much safe because VPNs allow allow you to not be decoded at all but i still would recommend sharing these codes with people you trust and before you start typing in the comments i don't want not want to play this mod because i don't want to get my ip leaked this this is just a quirk of peer-to-peer -peer networking and this is the only way to allow this to fully run on a quest completely standalone unlike quest fusion that you need a pc this mod runs completely natively on quest but you have you're at the risk of of having your ip leaked before you little hackers start l looking into this server code i just type this i just type this code in for me to be s for my safety this code is not a real code and if you actually would want to join a code the code will look nothing like this i just filled this little bar in just to showcase on what it will look like now, once you've entered all of your your friend's code, you can now press enter and then click on this little thing in, to join your ser to join their server. And if you successfully join their server, you would load into a map. So you would go into a loading screen and you would go into the map that they are on. Now that we now that I've explained how to join a server, I'm gonna explain on how to make a server. Um, another little um disclaimer, I guess. In order to make a server, you're going to need to port forward. And if you don't know what port forwarding is, I suggest going on Google and searching up what port forwarding is. And in order to and the reason why I need to port forward is because the mo because the mod that uses peer to peer networking needs to allow uh, your friend's network layer to pass through your your router's firewall. And in order to do that, you need to open a port. And in this video, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show a full in depth tutorial on how to do that. But I recommend joining the Tide Fusion Discord and ask asking someone there on how to port forward. And then after you've port forwarded, you can now actually make your own server and let your other player, like let your friend join you. And in order to, t to tell them your server code, once you've clicked this little thing, create server, Press display server code and it will show your server code. I'm not gonna click on this because for my for safety reasons, I'm not gonna click on this because it's gonna show a code that is my IP address. So I'm not gonna do that. Now after you've done everything in this video, you should be set and ready to go to play with your to play multiplayer with your friends. Hope you guys enjoy. Why are we, why are we, why are we, why are we